going to read a book about a bus. Bus drives to town. Driver Bobby starts the engine, drives out through the garage door. Bus goes out on the roadway, setting off to work once more. People wait beside the bus stop, ready for their morning ride. Driver Bobby calls to Mummy, hurry up and come inside. Looks like they're all going off to the shops there, doesn't it? Bus is stopping by the playground, all the children shout and play. Skipping ropes and balls are twirling, bus goes quickly on its way. They're in the playground, look, can you see? Happy Charlie, with his skateboard, stops to see the way ahead. Bus is stopping very slowly for the traffic lights ahead. Oh, look, traffic lights are all red, I think, at the moment. Every street is very busy. Everyone is going far. Policemen holding up the traffic has to stop the bright red car. Can you see the bright red car? Where is it at the bottom? Lots of shops along the pavement spilling out onto the street, selling fruit and flowers and clothing, buns and ice cakes. What a treat! Bus can see a big fire engine. Here's the sirens. My word. Spots the fire. Sees the flames around the building. Watches them leap higher and higher. Wow, look at that. Driver Bobby's in a hurry, moving close behind a van. Oh, where's the van's at the church? Look up the hill and down she dashes just as quickly as she can. I'm just getting really fast. Not too fast, I hope. In the park, the swings are swinging. Katie whizzes down the slide. Driver Bobby heads for home now, finishing her daily ride. Look, there are some of the things that we found in the book. So there's a red van, there's the bus, there's the traffic lights and the flowers and the slide, there's the boy with the skateboard and a fireman's helmet. Oh wow, look there's that red car and the taxi and the bus stop. Girl on her bicycle, there's the fire and the lamp. Right, well now we're going to see if we can make our own bus. So we're going to, in the story it was a yellow bus. So we're going to use some yellow card. But if you haven't got any yellow card at home, then you could use something different. Okay, so as I said, we're going to go for a yellow bus, but you could choose a red one or green or blue. So I've drawn out some soft corners from the top of my bus and we're going to cut all the way around and get your grown-up to help you with this bit and then you can be thinking about your windows and how you're going to decorate your bus. We'll snip along the bottom. Let's get rid of those bits. So that's the outline of our bus and we're going to need some glue and then some other bits of card. So I've decided I'm gonna go for gold sparkly windows. So I've cut out some square shapes, or you could have a long window, or you could go for purple or for blue, and then cut them to size, and then we're going to stick them on. And then the next thing we need to think about is our wheels. So I've got a cup here, which is about the right size for our wheels, and if we draw around the bottom, we'll get a smaller circle and we can draw around the top and get a bigger circle. So you can decide on what, what kind of size you'd like for your bus wheels. So in the style of Blue Peter, I'm going to show you one that I've prepared earlier. 
So here are my wheels. I went for the big side, so nice big wheels. And then I've used something called a split pin, like these. So if you've got some of these at home, you could ask your grown-up to push them through the middle of the circle, and then the wheels can go around. But if you haven't got those, it doesn't matter. You can just stick them on with glue. So I've got my first window where the driver's going to go, and then I'm going to stick on the other windows for the passengers. Oh, my glue's drying out along here. So we're gonna have, not driver Bobby today, we're gonna have a different driver that I found some stickers in one of my craft boxes. So maybe you've got some stickers of some characters that you might like to have on your bus, or you could draw the characters on the bus or paint them on. I have been thinking about a sticker, so I shall show you what sticker I'm going to use a bit later on. The other thing that I'd like to do on my bus, sometimes when you see buses driving around in Redbourne or in town, they have some writing on the side of the bus advertising something or they have a pattern and I'm going to go for a funky pink stripe down my bus. So I've cut that already to size, so you might have some pattern paper in your house or perhaps some old wrapping paper or something which you could use. And we're going to stick this down the middle of the bus to make it look super jazzy like Bobby's bus. And then I am going to show you who my characters are that are going to get on the bus. So we need our driver and I've chosen the Nutcracker because I had a little sticker of him. And then I think I'm going to have a little bird with some cheese by the look of it, which is a bit strange. And I've got a spaceman who I'm going to stick on my bus. And then, oh, perhaps a fox. Now this fox is running, so maybe he's just run onto the bus and he's running for his seat. So there we have it, there is our yellow bus, like Bobby's yellow bus.